thanks for checking out my video. My name is Renee Walker. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I'm bilingual with a master's degree in Spanish. I'm a military spouse and I love to DIY and craft. So thank you for joining me where I present to you a new innovative way to display a flag. wanted to create a special way to display a flag is because these flags were brought home after a deployment. I didn't feel like displaying this flag in the shape of a triangle would really reflect all that my husband had accomplished while flying missions around the Middle East. So I needed a new innovative way to display them and I wanted to show that with you here. So I found this window in a flea market. These windows have really been trending for the past few years with a vintage farmhouse style that I love. I thought this window would be a perfect way to give this special flag some character in a simplistic yet respectful manner. I wanted to make sure that I was following the rules, so I went to the official USA.gov webpage where it states the official code for flag display. And it states that you can display a flag behind a window as long as the blue side is on the left and it follows with the rest of the flag. So after looking that up, I feel really good about this project. I think it's a beautiful way to display the flag and I'm excited to get started to show you how to create this. So the first thing I did obviously was made sure that the window was clean. I used Windex and a paper towel to clean off the glass. And what I didn't do but I wish I would have done was to turn the window over to clean the interior side of the glass. Since I forgot to do that, it's a little bit smudged on the inside but I figure it gives it character so it'll do for now. I decided not to iron flag because I just wanted to keep the flag the way that it was since it was special and brought home from a deployment. Before doing this video, I laid out the flag in the way that I wanted it to be displayed from the outside of the window. Since the flag is just a nylon fabric and it needed to keep its shape while in the window, all I needed to give it was a little bit of stability. I simply took a cardboard box and cut it out to the size of the glass. Then I wrapped the flag around the cardboard to give it the shape that was needed. It took me a while to find the perfect solution to keep the flag together around the cardboard, but I finally found it. It's a double-sided tape from the brand Scotch Create. It also states that it's a removable fabric tape, and as I was using it, I was able to remove it quite easily without any kind of residue or stickiness from the tape. So I really felt that this was the perfect product for me to keep the flag fabric together without it moving around. When thinking of ways to keep the flag in place, I had to keep in mind that this is a symbol for our country and respect is necessary when handling it. Again, I referred to the U.S. flag code that lays out the guidelines for respecting the American flag. It states that the flag should never be fastened in such a manner to be easily torn, soiled, or damaged in any way. While testing out this double-sided fabric tape and the ease of removing it without harming the integrity of the fabric fibers of the flag, I'm confident that I can maintain the respect for the flag that it truly deserves. To keep everything in place, I found at Hobby Lobby a large sheet of cardboard. It only cost me a few dollars. It was thin enough to be able to easily be cut with scissors, and I thought it made a nice clean look to the back of this flag display. Before cutting the cardboard, I wanted to make sure that it was evenly lined up with the window. The cardboard needs to be smaller than the frame so it's not showing from the front. But you do wanna make sure that when you're cutting the cardboard 
that the cardboard is overlapping the flag. So when you're attaching the cardboard to the window later, you're not puncturing or running into the flag and you're keeping its integrity intact. The first cut was done freehand with scissors, but after that I realized that I really should have used a yardstick and a pencil to keep my line straight so it looks a little more finished from the back. So I could mount this window on the wall later for display. I bought two D-ring hangers. These hangers are supposed to hold up to 75 pounds, which is perfect for this window since it is a real heavy glass window with a real wood frame. And the final step to this project is to attach the cardboard to the window so that the flag can stay stable within the display. I chose to use a staple gun, although finishing nails would probably work too. I just wanted to make sure that I was careful not to get too close to the window because obviously you don't want to break that glass on the other side. I have experience using a staple gun so I know how to use it properly. But I will throw in that disclaimer saying, if you use a staple gun, it is recommended to use safety goggles for protection. It feels so good to almost be done, but I do wanna recommend that before you staple all around the edges to make sure that the flag looks the way you want it to from the front side. I actually made that mistake. I had closed up the whole thing, turned it over, looked at the front, and realized that the stripes were not straight. I had to pull out some of the staples, which is fine because they can easily be removed, but it would have been so much easier if I had just double checked everything before using the staple gun around it to close it all up. The last thing that I'm adding to this display is simply the certificate that my husband had printed out saying that he had flown the flag over this country on this mission and it was presented to my daughter and another one to my son. I think this is a beautiful way to display deployment memorabilia and a great way to remember the service and all the sacrifices that have been made for our country. Throughout this video, I showed you the white farmhouse style looking frame that I chose for my daughter's room, but I also did another frame with the color black around it for my son's room. It just goes to show that you can customize these frames to make it look perfect for your home. Thanks so much for checking out my DIY flag display. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. It helps support my military family and I have plenty more ideas left to share with you that I'm going to be uploading to the channel. So please subscribe to Renee Walker USA. I appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye. But then I suddenly lose time that I have. Chip, no! Stop barking! This is my life. To complete it, so the project just kind of hangs around. <laughs> Chip, stop barking! I'm doing a YouTube video! <laughs> this will be good. Is that better? Stop barking! Stop it! Stop! What are you doing? You can't bark. I'll let you join me for my YouTube video and you still have to steal the spotlight from me. Is he just gonna be in every single YouTube video that I have? He's gonna have more attention.
attention to me. So I found this uh, window. So I flat. I found. It's typically presented as I had stated at Triangular. 